no, bro, you're still frustrated. You still want to get laid. Like, yeah, you still do. Still so, yeah, laid. you still want to have sex. You're a fucking man. You got a pair of holes. Do you think just because a guy went to Berkeley, has a, an amazing job, has a great physique, that women are just going to just catapult into his life effortlessly? Or you think it's, it, you, there's still more self-improvement? Because he has the looks, decent, decent looks. He's in shape. You know, he has, you know, has some status. He's a doctor, so he meets women. I'm a doctor. Definitely raises some eyebrows. He has the money, so looks, money, status. But do you think that equals women all the time, having those three things? No. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a short answer, just no. Okay. Uh, like, I, I, went, I went to college with guys like this, like six, literally six foot six, doctor, yeah. good looking guy, in shape, in the gym all day, couldn't get laid to save his life. Yeah. Super insecure about it. Ended up, actually ended up marrying a girl who treated him like a piece of shit as well. Jeez. Um, it was horrible. Uh, but, it, and all of his friends tried to warn him about it. Yeah. But it's not like... It's not just those three things. You yeah, I, I, don't, I don't really agree with the, the statement of like, you know, if, you, if, you're, if you're the perfect product, yes. then women will just instantly come yeah. to you. Um, which, is a bit, which is different from, say, status. Okay. Right? And I'll make a distinction there. Because there's two things. Like, dating is, is, is a combination of product and marketing. Ah, I love the marketing. <laughs> right? Because you need to, like, if you could be the best product in the world, like that guy, right? Okay, Berkeley, doctor, whatever, yeah, jacked, shape, shape, whatever, yeah. all this stuff. Okay, your product is amazing. But if no one knows about it, you ain't selling shit. Yeah, true. So, like, you need the marketing side of things. Yeah. And, my, and in my opinion, like, marketing is, in, in, well, especially in these days, yeah, is basically like, what, you would, Instagram, what you, yeah. you, you would call, like, game. You would call yeah, it, like, yeah. understanding Instagram and how that works in the dating yeah. marketplace, understanding how to create a good dating app profile, all these things. Um, and like status as we kind of perceive it to be like being like a minor celebrity or something, yeah, sure. having some clout yeah. is really just a form of marketing. Yeah, That's yeah. all it is. It's yeah. just getting eyeballs on you, getting attention on you, right? Because women, women are attracted to the, the women are attracted to the guy that everyone else is paying attention to. True. So there's a very common trope or common thing said online, online amongst the manosphere, talking about how when you're young, you should sacrifice that to make money and build yourself up the most way you can. And they're kind of avoiding women in a way. Right now, what's your guys' you guys take on kind of avoiding women in your twenties? I think yeah, if you, yeah, if you avoid women, um, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to meet them eventually. Like you're gonna come across them eventually. <laughs> so you're like, you're putting it off, like they so they know well, well that you're gonna meet a girl, <laughs> yeah. right? So it's like, bro, like why are you putting it off till way later when you're out of practice? Um, it, it makes no sense. So I think you should always be. When, even if you're not, your whole focus is not on women trying to get cold approach or even Tinder, right? When you go out to the world, go say hi to people. Go approach, go talk to girls, bro. Like, yeah. do not be afraid. Be like, oh no, I can't talk to the girl because I'm focused on my business. I can't talk to the girl at the grocery store because I'm focused on my business. That's an what? excuse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So see, but most of the guys they make those excuses because deep down they're like, dude, if yes, business is important, making money is important, status, all that shit is important, right? But if you're coming across girls and you don't even know how to interact with them, you don't even understand them, then that's a huge issue because later on the road when you have money. Guess what? Now it's even a bigger problem because now you have things that you're gonna lose. Yep. Yeah, okay. Like if you don't have money and you're young, it's like cool. You don't have anything to lose. They're not after your money. You know? It's like, hey, this girl actually likes me for who I am because I don't I have, have money. Much. <laughs> I don't have the status, right? So there's less things to worry about. When you have the money, when you have the, the with the status, you know, when you have the connections, then you have to be more safe. To, you have to be, you know, a little more bit cautious. more. Yeah, you have to be more cautious. You have to be qualified a lot harder. So that's that's the one thing that I think is uh, interesting with dudes when they say. Yeah, I'm gonna put it off till I'm till I'm older and shit. It's like, dude, what? Why? It's a total copy. Yeah, it's a cope. It's yeah. a co it can be a cope. I mean, and it doesn't mean yeah, like you saying like literally just saying hi to a pretty girl isn't gonna like tank your bottom line. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, we're in the red now. I said hi to a girl. All my, all my supplies suppliers stop talking to me. I'm fucked. It's not how the world works. You know, I'm gonna die. <laughs> so like it doesn't. You don't, okay, yeah, cool. It doesn't doesn't mean like go to the club like like I did in my 20s literally go to the club seven nights a week for like a, for like a year no, no, no shit like every every fucking night I found the one place in our city that was open on a Monday night so I could go out seven nights a week for like an entire year straight and I fixed the problem I had surprise surprise but, but, for, but for me it was a pain point it was a struggling pain point like but I do agree like yeah <laughs> Like it's not gonna kill your business by just saying hi to a chick because that if you like you said if you just ignore women your whole twenties it's gonna be a bigger problem. Yes. Yeah. By the time you get to twenty five or the time you get to thirty it's gonna be an even bigger problem right. with like you said the ramifications are way worse. Yeah, you get a divorce and half half that shit you just spent in your twenties building's yeah. gone. Yeah. So like it's it's unfortunately you have to do everything at the same you kind of have to do everything at the same time. Now I would say yeah look it's better to like 
it's way, way better to spend your, your early years, your 20s, 19, 18, 19, 20, whatever, building skills and building up wealth because it, that is a lot of a longer process. You know, it takes longer to build wealth than it does to like learn a better game here and there, I think. Yeah. Um, but yeah, don't, like, don't use that as a cope. Oh, I'm just working on myself, man. I'm building my money, man. Like, fuck chicks. No, bro, you're still frustrated. You still want to get laid. Like, yeah, you still do. Still so, sex. yeah, you still want to have sex. You're a fucking man. you got a pair of balls. Yep. So, don't use that as a cope to never, ever, ever say hi to a pretty girl ever, ever at all just because you're working on your money right now. And honestly, if you have good girls that you know how to interact with, obviously, and you have good girls on your team, like your ride or dies, it actually helps your business. It gives you more time, more energy, because you don't have to be on Tinder. Like, dude, you know, I got girlfriends that really bring over chicks for me. I don't have to worry about Tinder. I don't have to worry about cold approaching any of that shit. It's like, hey, now I have girls. I have that shit covered, right? So being good with women, understanding women, they can actually help you. They also yeah. add a lot of peace and that feminine energy to your life that's very healing, yeah. which is super important, right? Yeah. And I think uh, it, it, it will make you more successful, I feel like, if you can block that shit down. It's a good point. So. That you, that I, and I know you two, I definitely know you two both do this. Like utilizing a woman as an asset, yeah. not a liability. Yeah. And that's the dynamic that most guys get wrong with relationships and women is they use, they think women end up being a liability to them. Yeah. Especially if they yeah, don't have the shit the worked, they get out until later on. That's but if you, if, you can, if you can learn it from an early age, to use, to, not to use them, but to have women in your life who are an asset to you yeah. and help your business, help, help. Even if it's as simple as like helping you meal prep, yeah, exactly. anything, it could be anything. Like in the bed, anything, laundry, anything. less things you have to worry about, bro. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, that, that, that gives you way more time to focus, time energy to focus on the business too. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, so I'll, I'll say this. I think life is about, you know, the 80-20 rule, right? You can spend 80% of your time focusing on your business, focusing on your purpose, and then make an hour into hour and a half. Like legit, before this, I was out with a girl for an hour and a half. That's not going to kill my day. Mm. I can still be productive, yeah. work on things. I think you just have to allocate it properly. Yeah. Where you go, hey, okay, I'm going to give myself one date a week with a girl for an hour and a half, two hours. That's not going to kill you. Yeah. Right? Because also, I think talking to girls is like a muscle. If you don't use it, you will lose it. That's mm. why when guys do coaching calls with me, bro, I've been in a relationship for two years. I just got out. I went to a club last night. I was just, I couldn't do it. Yeah. I couldn't talk yeah. to, like, talk. Talking to a girl is like, whoa, like, I'm out the game. And I guarantee that guy, I guarantee while that guy was in a relationship, if he went to the club with his boys, he was getting more attention. Oh, probably yeah, would. Because yeah, sure. he's, got, he's, got, he's got that abundant, he's, he's, got, got, the, he's got that security, the exactly. that security in the back of his mind. Like, I don't need pussy. Like, I've got a chick at home. Exactly. And the girls are fucking up, paying on that. They're paying attention to that shit. 